I'm naturalist Rudy Mankey. Let's talk about the differences between horns and antlers just for a minute. Now I'm holding in my hand an antler of a uh, white-tailed deer, which is found, of course, all over the eastern United States. Antlers are shed every year. Horns stay on throughout the life of the animal. So this antler was grown and shed in one year. Antlers are almost always just found on males. There's one exception in the deer family, caribou. Both sexes have antlers, but horns are found on both sexes routinely. And horns, of course, has that, have that dead skin covering over them that uh, antlers do not have. Antlers also have these little projections called tines that are very, very useful. Uh, Native Americans use them quite commonly. These are attached to the back of a deer skull. Here is a deer skull with the top removed. And you know why this was sliced away? Because there were deer antlers there that someone cut off the top of the skull to take the antler away with them.